welcome learners in this video lecture i will be discussing about small enterprises and village industries so this will be the first video lecture and i am dr smritika sotri from krishnakanta handy state open university so this unit is explained in two video lectures after completion of each part of the video lecture you need to self check your progress at the end of the lecture you need to participate in the discussion forum so that you can communicate with us about your level of understanding so part 1 uh, of this video lecture will deal with small enterprises its definition characteristics relationship between small and large enterprises and the second part of the video lecture will deal with objectives and scope of small enterprises role of small enterprise prizes in economic development and problems of small scale units so uh, first uh, we will discuss about the definition of small scale industries there was no such definition for small scale industries earlier the first official definition of small scale industry in india was conjoined in 1950 in terms of the size of gross in uh, gross investment in fixed assets that is plant and machinery or land building as well as on the strength of the workforce concerned the criteria underwent a number of modifications over the years in the later part of the 50s there was a change in definition of small scale industries there was a shift from workforce workforce criteria to investment criteria the micro small and medium enterprises development act 2006 have provided the definitional framework so under the act enterprises have been categorized broadly into those engaged in manufacturing and services both categories have been further classified into micro small and medium enterprises based on their investment in the plant and machineries in case of manufacturing enterprises and equipment in case of service enterprises so now let us discuss those in detail so first about manufacturing enterprises the investment limit of various categories of manufacturing enterprises are first micro enterprise the investment limit should be up to rupees 25 lakhs so those enterprises where the investment limit is maximum up to 25 lakhs those were considered as micro enterprise then those enterprise where investment limit is above 25 lakhs and up to uh, rupees 5 crore those were considered as small enterprise and medium enterprise were those where investment is above rupees 5 crore and up to maximum of rupees 10 crore then for service enterprises the investment limit of various categories are first one is uh, for micro enterprise investment limit is up to rupees 10 lakh then for small enterprises the investment limit is above 10 lakhs and up to rupees 2 crore and for medium enterprises the investment limit is from rupees 2 crore to up to rupees 5 crore the village and small industries sector encompasses a continuum of artisans handicrafts units at one end and modern production units with significant investment in other end so the various sectors of um, village and small industries are consist of one is traditional cottage and household industries like khadi village industries handloom industries sericulture industries handicrafts choir etc and when we considered about modern scale industries it includes tiny units power looms etc there has been an increase in the variety of products manufactured by small scale sectors they have ventured into the manufacture of many new and sophisticated items and now we will discuss about the characteristics of small scale industries so first is one person show in case of small scale industries generally it is considered as one person show because the um, sole person 
okay, who runs the organization, he or she monitors the every activities of the organization. Then the uh, second thing uh, is managed in personalized fashion. As the entrepreneur, okay, the sole person, he manage, he or she manage the activities of the organization in their personalized fashion. Like whatever they feels they likes, based on that they runs the organization. Then third characteristic is about gestation period. As small industries they runs quickly. Uh, there is lesser um, red tapeism and all. So because of that the gestation period for small industry is shorter. That means they get the return on investment more quickly compared to the large organization. Then another characteristic is scope of operation. The scope of operation of small industrial undertakings is generally localized catering to the local and regional demands. Our next characteristic is availability of resources. Small units use indigenous resources and therefore they can be located anywhere subject to the availability of those raw materials and labors. So wherever the resources were available for them, they run their industry in that area. And another characteristic is labor intensified. Small industries are fairly labor intensive with comparatively smaller capital investment than larger units. Because small industries they don't have much fun, so uh, instead of going for everything mechanized, they prefer to be labor intensive. Then balanced regional development. Small units are dispersed to rural areas, they use local resources. Thus, the growth of small-scale industries in rural areas promotes more balanced regional development. It helps in the development of that particular area. And then uh, last characteristics which I will be going to discuss is about adaptable to changes. Uh, they are highly reactive to changes in environment and receptive to socio-economic conditions. They are more flexible to adapt changes like introduction to new products, new methods of production, new materials, etc. So they are also adaptable to changes. Now we will discuss about the relationship between small and large units. First I will be discussing about the competition. Small scale industry cannot compete with large industry in certain circumstances in selected products. As like uh, small scale industries have lesser resources, uh, they have lesser uh, like fun, so they cannot compete in all sectors in with uh, large scale industries. Then second point is about supplementary. Small scale industry can fill in the gaps in case of excess demand. The large industries has got their fixed production capacity installed. In case of excess demands, the small industries can supplement their activities so as to meet the excess demand. Suppose uh, some large industry they were operating as their production unit is very huge, they have some fixed kind of uh, production setup. So even if demand increases, uh, like those demands can be met by these small scale industries. Then complementary. Apart from the supplementary relationship with large scale industries, small industry has been complementary to its large counterparts. In the real world, many small units produce intermediate products for large units. So uh, sometimes it will be more helpful for some customers if they get the products locally. So uh, these small scale industries, they were also uh, okay, like working as complementary services they were providing to the large scale industries. Then about initiatives. Attracted by the high profits of large units, small units can also take initiative to produce the particular product. If it succeeds, the small unit grows to a large one over a period of time. So suppose if any small, uh, small scale industry, if they were uh, producing something and it's growing, uh, after a certain period of time, they can become a large large scale production unit. 
Servicing. Small industries also do install servicing and repairing shops for the plants of large units. Suppose for example, car. So these four wheelers are production units where large scale industries. But repairing of those four wheelers or maybe uh, servicing of those four wheelers, then there are some small scale industries which helps in running those organizations. Such small services uh, units can be seen proliferating in respect to our large industries like refrigerators, radio, television set, watch and clocks, cycle and motorcycle etc. So we will see plenty of such small scale industries who are, who are offering uh, these services for the large industries. Hope uh, you have understood so far. So here uh, I have put one question for you. Like what are the characteristics of small scale enterprise? Please uh, write it down in your notebook. And if you have any queries, any uh, doubts regarding this video lecture, you can mail to us. Thank you.